वेलकम ऑल इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट वैक्टर कॉन्सेप्ट सो देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ क्वान्टिटी अ क्वान्टिटी कैन बी कैरेक्टराइज आइदर एज ए वैक्टर और एज ए स्केलर क्वान्टिटी सो लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट द स्केलर क्वान्टिटी फर्स्ट अ स्केलर क्वान्टिटी इज अ टाइप ऑफ अ क्वान्टिटी डेट इज बींग कैरेक्टराइज ओनली बाय द मैग्नीट्यूड स्केलर क्वान्टिटी कैन नॉट बी कैरेक्टराइज बाय द डायरेक्शन सो द स्केलर क्वान्टिटी विल नॉट रिक्वायर एनी डायरेक्शन फॉर इट्स कंप्लीट स्पेसिफिकेशन इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ द स्केलर क्वान्टिटी देन मास टेम्परेचर एंड द प्रेशर आर द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ स्केलर क्वान्टिटी लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द वैक्टर क्वान्टिटी अ क्वान्टिटी that is characterized by both magnitude and the direction is known as vector quantity so the vector quantity require both the magnitude as well as the direction for its complete specification if we talk about the example of vector quantity then force and velocity are the example of vector quantity now let us discuss about the representation of both the scalar as well as vector quantity so a vector quantity is being represented by a letter with an arrow over the top of it so let us assume that here a is a vector quantity so here a is a letter and if it is a vector quantity then we will put an arrow over the top of it so it resembles a vector over an letter that is a and now it is a vector quantity and the vector a in the three dimensional space is given as a vector equals to ax ax cap plus ay ay cap plus az az cap so this is the representation of vector quantity in the three dimensional space where ax ay and az are the component of vector a along with x y and z direction so ax is the component of a vector along x direction ay is the component of a vector along y direction and az is the component of a vector along z axis so this is all about the vector quantity and if we talk about the representation of scalar quantity then it is represented by the symbol or the letter it doesn't require any arrow over the top of it so this is the scalar quantity and this is vector quantity because there is an arrow over the top of a so this is the basic introduction about two types of the quantity that is scalar quantity and vector quantity thank you